Hey everybody, it's Kiki Nasty here. We are doing something a little bit different today. No video games. No video games at all. As you can hear, we got a little bit of pumped up music in the background. And today, we're gonna start something that I like to call Fitness Friday. And today we're gonna start kind of a series about my personal journey with fitness, things that I wish I knew, things that I learned, things like that. So that is what I'm gonna go over today, is a little bit of my own personal history and five things that I wish I knew when I started going to the gym. Because going to the gym in the beginning is such a hard, kind of anxiety-ridden process, so there were a few things that I wish I had knew then that I know now that I think would make me feel a lot more comfortable. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. I hope that you like this kind of content. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. No worries. I am here to try a little bit of everything, and fitness is one of my personal goals, one of my personal very high aspects in my life, so I want to share that with you guys. So that's why we're trying this today. Um, I think the first thing to start with when it comes to the gym is just to remember that like literally everyone is just as anxious as you are to be there and the people who aren't anxious to be there are definitely not looking at you. <laughs> um, I had this huge idea when I first started going to the gym that people would go to the gym and just kind of stare at me if I was working out or if I was doing something wrong and especially like when I first started going I was a little bit larger than I am now and I was just very self-conscious I was thinking like you know if my stomach falls out of my shirt like people are gonna be looking at me I want you to know 100% nobody's looking at you and if somebody is looking at you they're not looking at you with judgment they're probably looking at the clock that's past your body they're probably checking out the machine next to you seeing if it's open yet like there are so many reasons to be looking around in the gym that does not involve looking at you I promise you I promise you I promise you I'm not even saying that to be mean there is a there is a possibility they could be checking you out but I assure you that most people that are going to the gym on a regular basis they're not going to be there to harass you or judge you or anything like that a lot of people at the gym are actually really friendly and that's actually part of my second tip here is that the gym is seriously a place of learning um I was really afraid to ask questions or learn new machines when I first got into the gym and I go to Planet Fitness it's not even like a fancy gym so I was very very nervous to ask questions or to talk to other gym goers and a huge tip I would give to you guys is actually to invite yourself to talk to other people because even the people who have their headphones in like if you're looking up to them if they're doing something that really interests you that you think would be really like helpful for you or motivational for you give them a chat like half the time when I see a dude that I'm really inspired by or even a chick that I'm really inspired by I just walked up to them and I'm like hey you know don't mean to interrupt your workout here but that set was sick I really want to learn what that workout is like you have great form like teach me what you know and they are more than likely going to be down to teach you a lot of the people who are in the gym four or five days a week they spend a lot of time on it and they're proud of what they know so let them share their knowledge with you let them help you grow they've already grown in that way so I'm sure they're open to like helping others most people are especially at the gym because the gym is a place that people go to feel better about themselves it makes them better people I'm not gonna lie because when you feel good about yourself you feel good about treating other people you know what I mean like so it's kind of a it's kind of a thing that like the more you open yourself up to talk to other people at the gym the more you're gonna realize that not everybody there is is gonna bite your head off um not everyone there is like this hulky gym bro that's just gonna see you and hear your question and rah, like eat you alive it's not gonna happen gym bros are more of a figment of imagination than I think they are a Rea a reality, at least nowadays. I think a lot of people who go to the gym are there for their own benefit. They're there to genuinely just be a better person, to get a better physical body, to have a better relationship with themselves. So don't take it like personally that these people are just stronger or bigger or look intimidating. You know what I mean? They are truly just other human beings there to do good for themselves. That's what we need to remember at the end of the day. Um, my next couple of things kind of go into more of what we do, us individuals do at the gym, um, and out of the gym. So this is a little bit more important for round the clock maintenance. But number three is genuinely what you eat is going to affect your workout, it's going to affect your body, and it also could completely, like, just decimate your workout like anything that you put in your body is going to affect what you do with your body a hundred percent you know and that really has a lot to do with more than just calories i am speaking of calories i am speaking of if you're only you know doing 20 minutes of cardio and you're eating 3,000 calories that's not going to even out <laughs> um, but i'm also talking about healthiness and you know macronutrients and micronutrients you really want to make sure that you're hitting your 
levels of those every single day because if you're not getting enough macronutrients you're actually going to start hurting your body there is scientific evidence that if you don't eat enough protein for how much you want to weigh if you're like trying to build muscle and you're working out a lot you're not getting that protein in you're actually going to destroy your muscles it's very likely for your body to start breaking down your muscle before it starts breaking down your fat so you could be going really carb heavy you could be going really fat heavy but if you're not getting your protein in it's going to break down your muscle one way or another unfortunately so that is a really big thing to remember another thing to remember is that the energy that you put into your body is going to be the energy that you export from your body so if you put in a bunch of chips and fried food and blah 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 you're gonna be sweaty you're gonna be oily you're not gonna be feeling great at the gym like you can have fried foods in moderation i believe in any food in moderation but if you if you go into the gym after you having like a popeye's like full lunch meal you're gonna feel like shit okay that's just a fact that's just a full fact so try and make sure that you're hitting your um, macro and micronutrient levels for each day and that really involves just eating greens eating you know your vegetables eating your fruits getting a lot of protein i think all of that you can do on any diet i think you can do it on the keto diet i think you can do it on a vegan or vegetarian diet i don't really think what you personally choose with your diet plan affects that i think you just need to make sure you're hitting those regardless of what you choose to eat um yeah that's i guess that's point three done um number four is that stretching was not something I did when I first started going to the gym, which is insane. I don't know why I did that to myself. I started going to the gym earlier this year. It's probably February or March of this year, and it is now June as I am speaking. It's the end of June. And for the first two or three months I was in the gym, I did not stretch at all. And for some of you, you might be like, okay, and what, what does stretching do for me? Well, buddy, I'm talking to you. You're the exact kind of person I'm talking to right now. Stretching does everything for you. I changed my routine to involve stretching right after I do my warm up with cardio, and it has changed my workout. So the reason why stretching is so important, it's not just for gym class, okay? It's not just for old people. It's not just for the yoga, the yoga people. Stretching is very, very important because it helps your mobility with your muscles. And fun facts, if you're building a bunch of muscle and you're not stretching it, you're just gonna be like the Hulk. You're just gonna be stuck with all this muscle and you're not gonna be able to move so you're gonna be ripped to shit sure but you're gonna have to walk around like this and like every range of motion is just gonna be painful and literally you're gonna be incapable of stretching past a certain point if you just build muscle and don't stretch it don't treat it well so stretching is a huge huge thing i'm a huge fan of dynamic stretching so you know arm circles doing little like knee hurdles things like that even doing walkouts you know those those are all really great dynamic stretches um you can do still stretching still stretching will still help so just standing in place and you know doing like arms across the chest you know bending down touching your toes all of that is still going to help i just highly suggest that if you're going to do still stretching you do it after you've already done a warm-up like a cardio of some kind so that way your muscles are warmed up you already have like some lactic acid flowing you already have your blood flowing you don't have to worry about waking up your muscles for the day because static stretching will not wake up your muscles unfortunately while dynamic stretching will so you could always start your workout with dynamic stretching or do some cardio and mix in some dynamic and static stretching together after that i think that is really really important um, and that goes into our final point, number five, recover, recover, recover. I did not focus enough on recovery and the right kind of recovery. That was really what I was missing out on when I first started going to the gym. I started going to the gym under the pretense that I would have my on days and my off days. And on my off days, I would just chill. I would do nothing. I would just relax. I would go about my day as I had to, you know, I'd go to work and stuff like that, but I did not focus on actually taking care of my body on those off days. So, you know, usually whenever I would have an off day, I would also like do my cheat days on my off days and stuff like that. And why that is not necessarily a good idea is because when you are focusing on recovering, you want to treat your body just as well as when you are focusing on like loading on those pounds, loading on the weight, whatever you want to do. So, Really a big goal and a big uh, key for me was that I had to make my recovery days just as important as my on days. So I had to continue my healthy diet on my recovery days. I had to also still stay physically fit on my recovery days. So you don't want to do any heavy lifting. You don't want to do like a full body workout on your recovery days, obviously. But definitely getting in your steps, getting in some like light cardio is really important. You always want to work your cardiovascular system and it doesn't have to be enough to burn extra calories. You can genuinely just go on like a 20 minute walk and that is enough. You just want to make sure that your body is moving. You don't want to stay static every day because that's not going to be good for you especially if you have multiple off days in a row i do um 
two on, one off, two on, two off. So on an, especially the weekends for me, that's my two off in a row. It can get really hard, especially like on Monday to get back into the flow if I haven't been physically active all weekend. So make sure to stay physically active. Keep hitting those micro and macronutrient levels on your off days. Make sure that you just take care of yourself. You need TLC every single day. And those off days just gives you that extra hour or two hours you'd be at the gym to take care of yourself. That's really what those off days are for. You replace the gym with a big piece of self-care, you know, get yourself a massage go and get yourself you know a really hot bath and shower go to a sauna or something like that recovery also has a lot to do with actually giving yourself something to um i guess look forward to so like for myself i tend to like book myself like one deep tissue massage a month and that way like i know on my recovery day and like x amount of weeks i have this really nice massage to look forward to and those things in recovery those are also really important just kind of going out of your way to find other ways to recover your body will eventually build up resistance to what you currently do so sometimes stretching might not be enough for you sometimes some at home yoga isn't going to be enough even if you have like an acupressure mat or like um a foam roller or something like that those are really good things to start with but after a while that may not be enough so you know booking a professional massage or you know going to a sauna really focusing on like loving self-care is really important your body will appreciate you at the end of the day so i think that's gonna kind of be the end of this video i think i'm gonna wrap it up here five things i wish i had known when i started going just to give you a quick recap one everybody is going to be anxious don't think that they're judging you two if you want to learn something, just ask somebody. Somebody at the gym, I swear to you, will be willing to teach you, especially if it's a machine that they're already on or someone who looks like they know what they're doing. Just go up to them and ask. They're not going to kill you. Three, please watch what you eat. And that's not just in a way of like count your calories. That's in a way of count your macros, count your micros. Make sure that you're actually getting enough fruits and vegetables every day. You want to have a serving of fruit or vegetable with every single meal. I think they said five greens a day and three servings of or three servings of fruits a day is what they recommend so like get a as much fruit and veggies as you can that is really important do try to keep those within your macros though because i will tell you that a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables are super carb heavy so if you're packing on the carbs maybe balance it out with like a little bit less fat you know something like that just to keep that in mind four don't forget to stretch stretching is so important never forget to stretch if you don't stretch now add it in you need it and five is just to recover. Just take care of yourself, you know? Tender love and care, that's all you need at the end of the day, and you need to give it to yourself first. So that is everything for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this first installment of Fitness Friday. I will be bringing more to you guys next week. I'm gonna do like four or five episodes of this and kind of see how it goes. If you guys enjoy it, please, like I said, let me know in the comments. Give me a like, give me a share, give me a subscribe. Join the Kiki Nasty gang. We're vibing over here. All we do is fitness. We do video games. We do fun, you know? So I will see you guys next week with some more Fitness Friday, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a gaming video. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye!